News Interviews is brought to you by Valley Strong Credit Union. Welcome back. Your time now is 616 on this Monday. It is another mindful Monday with Pastor Robin Robinson of City Serve. Nearly half of all Americans say the pandemic is hurting their mental health, according to a Kaiser survey. And now as people were starting to get back to some sense of normalcy, we're facing the possibility of things regressing. Cases going up and some businesses closing back down. Things are changing minute by minute, it seems. So we want to know how can we keep our minds open and able to cope with these constant changes? Robin, what do you think we can do to be able to continue to roll with the punches? Well, I think we have to keep our minds active. Maddie, it's easy to find ourselves in a place of, of just inactivity and even in ourselves just mentally and emotionally because the bottom line is not one of us were created for isolation. And so isolation is something that affects every one of us, you know, in one way or another. And those who are truly isolated, um, you know, even more so. And mental health is just a, a huge thing right now. Thankfully, in Kern County, we have uh, so many great facilities that deal with that, including our own county, Kern County Behavioral Health. Just wonderful hotlines and places where people can call. And I encourage anybody that feels like they're struggling to reach out because, you know, sometimes it's just a voice on the other end of the line. Um, and also, you know, just being, being good neighbors ourselves. I think the way we can, if we're isolated and cannot come out, being sure that we're using our phone to call people and to check on people. I mean, you and I both know that no matter, even if you are a little bit active, when somebody checks on you, it means something. You know, I think another way, Maddie, that we could help um, people who are isolated, because even kids and families, is, is, is to be able to drop off some games, some cards, some coloring books, some crossword puzzles. Things that will, during the day, keep acting. We think that, well, there's enough stuff on the internet, there's enough stuff in media, but honestly, using your brain and keeping yourself mentally aware and emotionally pursuing something, you know, is more important than, say, just, just watching a movie or just playing a game. Um, in the middle of it, I know if I do a crossword puzzle and I can finish three quarters of it, I feel like I've accomplished something. So I think trying to really, people being intentional about not allowing their mental health to get in a situation where that isolation has caused you because depression, they'll fall into depression so easy. And so I think the number one thing we could do is help each other, encourage each other if they feel like they need to be referred to a line or somewhere that they need to connect with for better mental health help. I think that's so important. And then I think people's faith, Maddie, at this time, really digging deeper into where you are in your faith and allowing that to comfort you. You know, there's, there's a scripture, Maddie, that we probably all recognize from, from our whole lives. It's found in Psalm 23, the Psalm of the, the Good Shepherd. But in Psalm 23, verse four, it says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm gonna fear no evil because you're with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So I think people finding comfort in their faith and where they are and digging deeper into that, I think that, that, that emotionally, that isolation that they would feel. Uh, it's gonna help empower them to not feel like they're such in such a place of, of, of crossing that line of, of depression. So I just, I really encourage people today, and I love this segment that's called Mindful Monday. I think it's, we've gotta be mindful of our mental health, of our emotional health, and as moms and dads even more so. Why? Because you were that strength for your kids and for the rest of your family. So today I, I just encourage people to, to understand that we, we just got to connect with each other. We got to love each other better. We, we have to be good neighbors. And, and you know, the story of the Good Samaritan, one walks around, the other one walks the other way, the other one steps over. But then somebody stops and somebody cares for that person that's laying there in the road. And they invest their time, their energy, and even monetarily, they invest in that person. So let's be that. Let's love our, our neighbor. Let's be good Samaritans because I, to me, there's nothing better for your own mental health than to help somebody else and give them a hand up. You know, so many of us, so many of us uh, feel really disconnected from our churches right now, those who attend, um, because a lot of services have gone virtual. Uh, all of them went virtual for a time being, and, and some are back in session with certain, uh, you know, qualifications and guidelines in place and restrictions, but a, a lot of people still aren't back in that community. Um, and, and I know virtual is just not the same as face-to-face, person-to-person, you know, feeling that warmth of a human touch and a hug. Yes, yes, and many times even when you're walking in your church, you only see their eyes. 
and it's hard sometimes to speak with your eyes. So we are in a place that's hard. And, uh, but, but sometimes even just words, you know, again, Maddie, doing something, dropping off a crossword book to those who are completely isolated, it just feels good. Write a note card, send a card, get, get some stamps and send cards to people. To me, I think about the things that are simple in our life that bring a smile to our face and joy to our heart. And that is the simple effort of a human person that reaches out either with a phone call, sends a note or drops something off. And I think that's where we, we've been able to have such a blessing with cities sort of engaged in dropping off to seniors and sh shut-ins. And people who are, are truly in need, and I, I mean, the grateful hearts that we get to see on the other end of that are amazing. And I know there's many, many different people in our community doing that exact same thing for people. But I encourage just the average person, if you're not connected to a group or whatever, you know, if you want to be connected, we'll help you connect to somebody and give you, give you the stuff to drop off. But in the middle of that, if it's your neighbor, Look around, see what's going on, and, and if, if if that if you help somebody else, somebody else will help you. This will go this will go a long way in helping us to have a strong mental and emotional outlook for today, tomorrow, and what lies ahead. Yeah, let's start that ripple effect. Robin Robinson with CitySurf. Thanks for joining us again this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Maddie. It's good to be with you.